Hello and welcome to another Dead Cells run. This time with Bad Seed DLC. I haven't played a lot of it and I haven't gone through a lot of it. I think I got to the first boss. Did not get past the first boss. <laughs> so let's see what I can do. Because oddly enough, the last time I did a Dead Cells run, I got fairly far. And that was a few months back. Actually, no, the few I looked up, it was eight months back. So, still under a year. But it has also been, oh, I won't say a while since I played it, because I played it fairly recently, but I'm still very out of practice. Usually, I only get the time bonus when I literally ignore everything. <laughs> so it's almost better for me to just go around and kill things. Because I can get the enemy bonus a lot easier. That's not the door I'm looking for. <laughs> I am definitely looking for the DLC door, which I am so, it's very good that they put it early. I think that might be what will lead me to it. Maybe. That's just a little lore spot, which I'm not sure how deep the lore is. I know I don't usually see videos going over it like I would other series. But I know there is, like, a tiny bit of a story. There's the top of the Arboretum. But let me beat up a few more things and try to find a couple scrolls before I progress. Because I know I'm not getting a time bonus. So, might as well get some... I have a lot of red right now. Do you have anything of... Ooh, powerful grenade. Infantry grenade. Quick to use one out, super powerful. 30% damage to a burning target. 6% damage to a bleeding target. Double crossbow medic. Shoots at two nearby enemies at the same time. Each shot inflicts 56 DPS. Generates a shield when used. I like it. He charged me and then died immediately. Very nice. Oh. Great. I just like this slam on the ground. Ooh, the electric whip is also good. I didn't like it at first, but it is good. <gasps> Wasn't like a 20 enemies without getting hit thing, was it? It might have been. You got raised to God. Just one hit and you're dead. Eliminate enemy. You still lift the curse. Are you fucking serious? How did I do that? 
Well, this is not going well. And I might have eliminated ten enemies in the area. Because I don't think there's many other enemies that I could try for. And the Arboretum's hard. I don't want to go into that with this. Uh-oh. I don't think I've ever done that before. Oh, there's enemies here. I don't know how to get to you, though. Oh, and you're dangerous. Okay, nine. Eight. very well as I work very safely to make sure I do not kill myself part of the new thing because that was terrifying where's our room there we go okay get out of the cell and into a new one yeah time bonuses Blech. long gone that's me under two minutes i didn't even get 30 ice shield not sure why that dude gave it to me i do want the flashing fan though because it looked neat and what else do i have oh yeah i was working on this one open wounds Pelling a projectile let's replace it with the inflatable TBS for eight seconds after killing an enemy. Mm. I still have never really. I kind of like support because I use those as my main damage dealers. <laughs> I feel like, and I just try to survive while they inflict pain so far this place has been hard I haven't really Bro, it's doing work. Okay, wherever the other one went, it went out the door and out of my view. There are so many unnecessary spikes around this place.
kind of like these fans. They're working for me. Yeah. Lots of damage. Okay, don't think I've seen that door before. Okay, this is getting nuts. No, no, leave me alone. Some more exploring just to see what else is out there. Oh, damn it. That's supposed to an area that already existed though. I don't see how to get there. Oh, wait, no I do. I do, I do, I do. Kind of, sort of, maybe. It's over that way. Okay, back up. not rolling when I probably should be. I'm doing a lot of things I probably should be. Oh, I can't get to it. I still don't have the wall jump too. That explains it. Okay, yeah, I think the only other option is the one I was at before. Is there a gate? teleporter thing I can take. Currently the answer seems to be no. There's none showing up on my screen. Uh, make sure I'm going in the right direction. 
reaction to. Oh, damn it. Oh yeah, you. There you are. Okay, door. So far this is also being oddly calm. Couple rough spots. Oddly not awful though. Was there something there that I just completely missed because I jumped down like an asshole? <laughs> but I got a mushroom boy. Spawn a friendly mushroom boy which charges and interrupts enemies inflicting 57 damage. Is this a mutation? Or no, this is deployable traps, grenades, and powers. So this is just an assist thing. Oh, my kind of assist. I would love it if it was a mutation, though. <laughs> I could have it every run. Always. It is a curse. It is a curse. And... Reducing a curse restores 5% HP, but increases the number of enemy requires to lose this curse by 50%. Who would want this? Reducing a curse 5 times removes 2 molens. Mm. Frantic sword. I'm also looking at what I have in terms of left to pay, and I'm almost finished so, over so. by doing that. So let's do that. Reforge. What do I have for money? Okay, I only do one of these. Or I could do this one. Upgrade. 100% damage to a poison target. Victims. Burned when they die. Perfect. Literally perfect. Um, necromancy. Reduces your infection level when you kill a boss. Blind faith reduces cooldown and is killed by 2.6 seconds with each successful parry. I don't parry very well, so that's not usually helpful. What doesn't kill me? After a melee attack. Once again, don't parry very well. Not gonna help. This usually helps. Because I don't use my melee attacks often to kill an enemy. Lee. I use my skills. 